At least I'll take you across uh, to that event itself where Dr. S.J. Shankar is now present and about to address. Uh, the relationship has been. But it is not just a relationship with a continent or even a union. Uh, we also have made an effort to engage uh, uh, European countries in smaller groupings uh, and uh, the presence of my colleagues from the Baltics is a reminder that we will be holding our Nordic Baltic uh, uh, meeting uh, in, the, in the coming days. Uh, and I hope, as I discussed with my colleague uh, with Greece, that perhaps one day soon we would hold a similar uh, gathering uh, with countries of the Mediterranean. Now, if I could uh, really, as uh, Indians and Europeans gather in this room, and others who wish us well, uh, address myself to what is it that drives the world economy, because that is really why we have assembled here today. And all of you would agree uh, that there are six broad uh, elements uh, of that. Uh, one, of course, is the production and consumption. The second is connectivity and logistics. The third is technology. The fourth, increasingly realized today, is of demographics. The fifth is of value, values and comforts, because countries and societies who bond with each other more closely obviously find it much more easy to do business as well. And finally, uh, to the extent we create an architecture, a framework, uh, it is much easier for us uh, to do uh, business and promote economic partnerships. So uh, today, some of the thoughts I present before you are from those perspectives of business, of sustainability, of creating partnerships. And let me start with production and consumption. I think we were reminded by the earlier speakers about the importance of concluding uh, a free trade agreement uh, with the European Union as also with EFTA. Not just a free trade agreement with the EU, but also one relating to geographical indicators and with, to uh, investment protection. And these agreements, these negotiations resumed after an eight-year gap between 2013 uh, to uh, resumed in 2021. Now, why is this important? It is important because uh, uh, you can already see that our trade levels have been growing steadily, but there is a well-founded uh, realization that we need uh, really a more, uh, a more pr positive framework for that to accelerate. Uh, last year, uh, uh, last 2022, our trade was about, I think, 120 uh, uh, billion euros in terms of goods, and our services trade actually has been growing very robustly uh, at about 30 percent. But part of the reason why we need mm, a much smoother uh, interface between our economies is that it's important for the European Union to prepare for the India that is to come. And what is that India which is to come? Today, India has a GDP of about 3.7 something, 3.73s, 3.75 trillion dollars. That GDP, by the end of the decade, would be 7.3. By the time we are into our 100th year of independence, is estimated at 30 trillion. And according to Goldman Sachs, by 2075, we would be at 52.5 trillion. So the, that's an arithmetical way of saying that India is going to be an increasingly significant economy, the second largest uh, by 2075, but certainly the third largest uh, by the end of this decade in national terms. Uh, and that is something which uh, uh, the European Union has to take into account. Now, the size of the economy is one. You can also see it in terms of growth. Uh, if one looks at India's trade, uh, in the last decade, uh, from below about $570 billion, uh, it has grown to almost double that amount to $1.18 trillion in uh, 2022. Uh, and the uh, growth in trade is only likely to increase 
uh, in the, the pace of it uh, is only likely to increase in the coming years. Now, I mentioned those two, but there is a larger shift which is occurring in India, larger transformation, and that is reflected in making it easier to do business, in making it easier for living, in the infrastructure changes which are captured by our Gati Shakti initiative, in the digital changes uh, which are driven by the digital, uh, uh, the digital delivery uh, programs we have, and uh, not least uh, by the enormous talent pool uh, whose quality and size is growing by the day. Well, there is a part of uh, the External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar's address uh, at uh, the event that the CII has uh, been hosting in uh, the national capital. This is related to India-Europe uh, sustainability uh, of uh, business uh, and uh, he talked about how not only India-EU relations have been strong, although he said that he is uh, cognizant of the fact uh, that uh, India and Europe need to do a free trade agreement and other agreements as well, like the EFTA. But he said that Europe needs to be prepared for the India Dallas to crumb, which is uh, growing uh, very, very rapidly and is going through a transformation that has been unprecedented.